Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to show you how to root your OnePlus 3. So for the beginners, routing a phone consists of three steps. One, if the bootloader is locked, then we need to first unlock the bootloader. After that, we need to flash any custom ROMs like TWRP ROMs or any other ROMs. And then after that, we will be routing the phone by flashing Super SU application. So this video is actually based on one XTA forum page and uh, the page is made by this developer I'm, at the, I'm not sure about his name I'm sorry and uh, I'll provide link, this link in the description so he developed a toolkit so from there we can do all these three uh, three things all, all at once so first of all go to that link and then you can see a screenshot of that toolkit if you go down you can see a download link here so download from Google Drive or anywhere. So during the making of this video, the current version was the latest version was 2.0. So download the toolkit. Here you can see you see it's in zip format. So first you need to unzip it. So you'll get this folder with many applications here. So here is the toolkit. First of all, here is the toolkit. So open that toolkit, run it, and then you will greet with this welcome screen, press enter. So you can see all the options here, like first one is the backup data, restore data, install drivers, many options are here. First thing first, you need to first install the drivers here. So I'll choose three and then press enter. So this installation wizard will open. So first install all the drivers required. Okay, so so all the drivers are installed I'll open that toolkit again because it's closed so I'll open that again and press enter here now go back to your phone and then you need to do some settings on your OnePlus 3 so go to settings menu and then go to about phone and then tap on build number for seven times until you became you say developer mode so if you go back to the main screen you can see developer options here so select the developer options and you need to turn on three three things one is OEM locking unlocking you need to turn on that one enable it after that you need to turn on advanced reboot you need to turn on USB debugging also so you need to turn on these three things after setting all these three options you can connect your phone to your PC so I'm using my one plus charger, one plus USB cable to connect to my phone. After you go back to your PC, this time you can check whether the device is detected or not. So here is the check device status by typing 5. So I'll here type 5, and then pr press enter, and then and we'll give 1 because the ADB is the one we need to check. So we'll give 1. So here you can see a device is connected here. We can go on with this method only if your device is connected here. If it's not, then you need to troubleshoot that one. You have to make sure that the drivers are installed, everything is fine. So after that, enter. This time, we can take a backup of your phone because unlocking your bootloader will wipe all your data from your phone. So it's better you take an Android backup here. So press 1 to backup and then press enter so it will ask for the confirmation just type Y and then enter so the unlocking your phone confirmation will come in phone also so if you unlock your phone you can see full backup is requested so if you wish to encrypt the full backup you can do that now I am not doing anything I am just backing up my data so it start backing up everything from my phone to the computer and the the file will be available here in the same directory of uh, toolkit in the backup.av file name and it will take some time so please be patient with that as you can see here the backup is uh, done here and you can see the file that is the backup.av and you can see the sizes also so the backup is done now we'll go and unlock the bootloader so go back to the toolkit again and then press enter so it will come back to the main screen from here 
we can first check what is the current status of the bootloader by typing 6 so I'll type 6 okay press enter again so now the phone will be rebooted into fast boot mode and then press enter again here so here you can see the device unlocked became false so our goal is to make it true so that the device will be unlocked it's mentioned here also so we'll go we'll press enter again so we'll come back to the main screen and the phone will reboot also so next step we will uh, unlock the bootloader let the phone uh, restart properly otherwise it may not work so the phone is booted now I will type 4 and then here I can choose 1 because I need to unlock the bootloader so I will type 1 enter so it is giving a warning like all the data will be wiped I will press enter again so the phone will reboot into fast boot mode and then it will ask whether we need to unlock the bootloader or not so using your volume button you can select yes and then press power button to give the uh, prompt so after that the phone will reboot and then you can see the your phone your device has been unlocked message so and now you can see it's wiping out all the data from the phone now the phone will be rebooting and then all the settings will be wiped it's so it's let's like the first boot so I'll set up the phone and then I'll come back so phone is booted again it, everything is resetted so once again we'll, uh, I'll go to settings menu about phone and then I will press uh, build number 4 7 time to become a developer so after that go back to main screen again developer option we need to turn on the same options that we did so OEM unlocking is on and then advanced reboot on USB debugging also so make sure that all these, these three options are turned on and then if you ask for the USB debugging hello okay so that's done so now the bootloader is uh, unlocked so we'll go to go back to the PC and then we'll check so here I'll press uh, enter so you can see done unlocking have fun so we can uh, cross check that whether the bootloader is unlocked or not so I, here I will press 6 and then press again enter again so here you can see device unlocked became true which means my device is unlocked a bootloader is unlocked so that's what we wanted so I'll press again now this time we will flash TWRP recovery because to flash or root the device you need to flash the TWRP recovery or we need the TWRP recovery to flash any other ROMs also so next up I'm going to flash TWRP recovery here you can see my phone is re rebooting so I'll wait till it's fully rebooted the phone is loaded so now I'll press 7 enter so it'll ask for the confirmation just type Y enter so it's right now it's uh, flashing the recovery press any key to start flashing so I'll press so now it's done flashing to the in this screen press volume any volume key so it, it will load the options menu uh, if you missed that one no problem uh, click here uh, restart your phone and then it will show again again okay again press any volume key so you will get this options menu from here go to recovery give it five seconds so here you can see it will load into the TWRP recovery so this is a TWRP recovery in next step what we will do in the PC we will push the super SU here so here you can see an option called super SU on 10 so I will select 10 and then press enter press any key to continue it will copy the super SU file to your phone so 
once it's restarting press again the volume key and then click on recovery to go to TWRP again okay so it's not into TWRP again for right now just go and click install and then here on the SD card itself you can find down below super SU beta select that file and then swipe to confirm flash so this will be flashing the super SU application to root your device so after that you can reboot the phone so this will boot to your phone normal boot and you should be able to find the super SU application on your menu so let's go and check the menu and here you can see super SU so we will verify we can verify the root access by going to Play Store and downloading an application called root checker go and download this root checker application and open it and then verify root and grant it so you can see congratulations root access is properly installed so this is how you can root your oneplus 3 using this all-in-one toolkit i hope you enjoyed this video if so thanks for watching please subscribe for more